Hello, my name's Nathan and I work for a charity called Catalyst. I manage the Community Health Ambassadors programme across Hartlepool and Stockton and Tees. The project was set up by our local CCG in 2015 to effectively involve more patients in the planning and development of our local NHS health services, and particularly for patients who might have distinct health needs or from diverse community groups where they might not have the best possible experience, um, for example when receiving treatment. So previously the CCG would hold an annual Commission and Intentions event as their main form of public engagement um, but we're keen really to provide more opportunities for people to have an influence, work alongside health professionals and really make a difference. And since starting the project we've worked with more than 40 volunteers to engage over 600 patients and here's a short animation to explain how it all works. The volunteers are first given a one-to-one -one induction to discuss their interests, capacity, networks and experience. They are then regularly notified of any involvement opportunities through emails, phone calls, monthly coffee mornings and quarterly peer support groups. It's essentially a network of community leaders and active residents from all walks of life who are trained, supported and kept up to date with expected changes to NHS policies or services. This enables them to provide constructive feedback and spread key messages by engaging with their diverse communities and the general public. This is done through focus groups, surveys, information stands, engagement events, patient stories and other methods. Our aim is to help create fair, accessible and equitable health services for all communities within the context of an ever-changing NHS and I really think that our patients and volunteers play a key role in making that happen. Part of my role with the CCG is to bring patient stories to our governing body meetings that are held every two months. Patient stories bring real insight to the governing body which works as, at a strategic level and gives insight into what is actually happening in real life situations. Feedback from patients is really important and makes a big difference to the way commissioners commission local services, local health services for our people. For example, NHS leaflets are now produced in uncomplicated language for people who do not have English as a first language. Our transgender people, through a patient story, told us that they could not have their gender changed on GP records. The CCG contacted all surgeries and found that there should be no barriers to this service. Sometimes solutions can be found simply to help the way of life of these people that we sometimes fail to hear. In my role as a community health ambassador, I was asked to give a patient story to uh, the local CCG. Um, it was very well received. I was able to deliver some experiences of gender variant people uh, when they're accessing healthcare. On the back of that, there has been some positive outcomes and I've been able to go and speak to large rooms of doctors, uh, bringing these issues to the ears of those who need to hear it. The Community Health Ambassadors um, are really effective at spreading the word in terms of NHS campaigns. As a communication officer, I share a lot of information about campaigns to do with NHS 111, GP evening and weekend appointments, urgent care, winter campaigns. And the Community Health Ambassadors take that information and share it throughout their networks. So it's an additional channel of communication for me and it helps the CCG to be much more effective at communicating with their local community and uh, patients and members of the public. I think some CCGs really struggle to have direct contact with patients and members of the public in their local community because they're commissioning health services, they're not the provider of those health services, but they have a duty to engage and um, it, it, the Community Health Ambassador Programme really cuts through all of that and it enables direct patient feedback and patient stories to go to the CCG. It's an additional channel of communication and it's really effective. I feel that becoming a Community Health Ambassador has helped me to make a real difference to the deaf community in Hartlepool and Stockton area. Um, I listen to the issues that they have when they read NHS leaflets um, because they struggle with English quite often. So I helped to produce some easy read leaflets um, and made sure that we included some accessible contact details as well on there. 
and the feedback I've had from the deaf community in Hartlepool and Stockton is that leaflets that are in easy read are much easier for them to understand. So I feel as though I've made a real difference. So these are just a few examples really of how health services can involve patients in improving healthcare um, but we've actually supported hundreds of different events, services and campaigns over the years including a survey um, which we did with our volunteers which got over 500 responses and this was really well received by the CCG um, and, this, and the results directly influenced their commissioning intentions for the following year. Um, now our volunteers and their wider networks um, are consistently involved as part of any public engagement or consultation around health service redesign and the feedback that we're getting from service managers is that they're really valued and respected as experts by experience. As part of this project, we ran a workshop with some of our volunteers to come up with some key recommendations for other health services looking to engage with their local communities. We hope this will be a really helpful resource and you can download a copy by visiting www.catalyststockton.org. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions or would like any more information, please get in touch.